Hey everybody, this is Cyrus for bestebookreaders.com. Today I'm going to show you Kindle's parental controls. This is where the, it's helpful for folks who are buying this Kindle. Maybe they want to use it themselves, but they also want to share it with their kids. You have the option to turn certain features off just to make sure you have a peace of mind that your kid, your, ch your child is not going to do something crazy, something that you don't want them to do on your device. So let me show you how it works. You go to settings, whoops. Parental controls, let me show you. You gotta come all the way from help here down to right above sounds and display, parental controls. The first time you use this, you're gonna be asked to enter a password. I've already given it a password, it's an easy password. Once you are there then you can control different features of your Kindle Fire for instance you can turn the browser off I'm gonna show you that it's turned off on this machine you can also turn off email calendars contacts you don't, you obviously don't want your child to go and buy everything every shiny application so I recommend password protecting purchases so even if you use it you can you know the password so you can enter it but if your child doesn't know it then, or it's going to be a one-time deal. Maybe you're going to gift them a um, an application for something great they've done. So, I mean, that, that option is available. You can also block certain content types. Everything is unblocked. I'm going to block, let's say, I'm going to block music and video and docs and apps. Just for example. You can also change password. I don't want to do that. password protect Wi-Fi and video feedback now here I've done some changes to show you how this works but I don't have a child so I don't want it to I don't want these to be on when I'm using the device that's where I go and just turn it off without having to uncheck the options that I've chosen so that so just so you remember I blocked email calendar and web as you can see, audiobook is on, web is off, videos are off, books are on. I, I've turned off games as well. Let's go and try to buy an app. Apps are blocked. I wanted to show you guys how what would happen if I buy an app and don't give the password. Let's let's see. So I entered the password. I go to the content that I blocked. I blocked too much. So I don't block it, but at the same time I do want the I do want the app to, when, when someone purchases something, I want to be able to get notified. So let's go and see. I go to shop. I go to apps. All right, I want to download this app. It's going to ask me for a password and if you're kid doesn't have the password they're not going to be able to download it so so that's a big plus you, you're going to have control over this and as far as what your kid can and can't do on your device so that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed it this was the parental control settings for the kindle fire hd i'm going to be back with more tips tomorrow thank you very much for watching guys